Hello YouTube and welcome to my new series on C Sharp programming, more specifically Visual C Sharp programming using the .NET framework. So in this series we're going to start from the right basics and go from there. So, uh, so let's just jump into it. So I'll be using Visual Studio for this, uh, so you can download it for the link in the description. Uh, code faster, work smarter, create the future with the best in class IDE. So uh, there's three versions, just download community. Um, you can go to this link if you're not sure um, about the differences, but really for most people community is fine. Professional is for like small teams and then enterprise is for like you know, a bunch of people using it. So if it's just you and you're a hobbyist then community is perfectly fine. It's good that they offer the download now because back in the day, back in the day, uh, they used to offer, oh not Windows Vista, Visual Studio used to use it used to come in a box, so it's a good thing that you could download it rather than get it. Not Windows Vista, Windows Vista sucks. Um, but yes, so let's just get started. So just install Visual Studio Community 2019, and when you install it, you'll get this screen. Just enable .NET Desktop Development. Just click that and install that. So let's launch. So we want to create a new project, and we want to create a, where is it? Windows Form App .NET Framework. Now there's a second one in here that does say .NET Core, ignore that one. We just want .NET Framework, a project for creating an application with Windows Form user interface. That's the one we want. And let's just call this Joke Machine. This is going to be our very basic application to start with. So you can select your .NET Framework. I'm just going to leave it on 4.7.2. It doesn't really matter for this series anyway. So this is our form. Who would want to use Visual Studio? So this is for people who want to create something quick and efficiently and just prototype something. Um, it's very fast to develop and it's obviously free to start with the community version. You get things like drag and drop design, which we'll get onto in a minute. Rapid de app development, again, is very easy to get a prototype running. And object-oriented programming, which all you really need to know for now is imagine you can create blueprints of objects and use those and inherit those into other other objects. Just imagine it as that. We'll get into that further on in development. So we want first what we want to do is we want to create our GUI, so our graphical user interface. So I like to enable our toolbox and just pin it, meaning that it just always stays there. So let's just in all Windows forms, or we can search at the top, we want two buttons. We want, and we want a text box, like this, and then we also want a label. So that's our beautiful, beautiful UI. So down in our properties, down here, you can also drag it along like this, so I can actually pin it up here so it's a bit bigger. We can select our form and change the size, so let's just go, a standard size is usually something like 800 by 600. That's kind of like a standard size, but it's a bit big. So let's go 400 by 300. That'll do. And you see, we've just cut off those. So let's try and bring those back. Probably should have placed it up there in the first place. There we are. So we can click on our label and you see, we've got all of our settings here. So we want this just to be title. That's the actual name of it. So when you refer to it in code, you call it title. Actually, let's call it title label. So when you refer to it in code, that's what you call it. We can scroll up here and you see it says text. So this can be changed to joke machine. And just like Word, we can set our line to, you know, top center. Uh, we can select it. So let's just put it there. We can click format, center in form horizontally. And you can see that's actually in the middle now. So we can do the same for the button. So this text will be joke one and this text on this second button will be joke two and the labels need to be changed as well so name so the name of the object needs to be changed as well so let's call this button uh, joke one and this can be button joke two so again Center and form horizontally, center and form horizontally, like this. I 
And finally, our text box can be made really big. Center and form horizontally, and let's actually track that up there, so we don't really need this as big. There we are, so that's our, that's our beautiful form. So that's our beautiful form. We just need to label our text box. This is called text box result. So this is our step one. Step one is create the GUI. Step two is modify form and control properties. So we've modified our form properties and we need to add code now. So if we double click on joke one, it takes us to here. Now this is our this is our code, and as you can see, it's automatically, as I've double clicked on it, it's created our click function. So that's nice. So all we need to put in here is text box result, which is our label at the bottom, dot text equals, and let's have a funny joke. So what is brown and sticky? A stick. Hilarious joke. And then we need to put a semicolon at the end to finish it. And again, if we do exactly the same for joke two button, you can see it's created exactly the same thing. So we can copy and paste that code and just change the joke. So what did the farmer say when he lost his tractor? Where's my tractor? Hilarious jokes. So if we save that, We've put code in the buttons, and if we click start, you see we've got a joke machine, and it tells our jokes. Amazing. So that's our first application. Very simple, but it's still an application that we've written. So how can we extend this? How can we extend this? So new jokes, so you could add more buttons and do a very similar thing here. You could change the title bar so I'll show you how to do that now so you see we click on our form in the background the name can be left as form one and we can change the text just to say a joke machine so that's another way we can extend it just by changing settings of our form so we could change our colors we can change the icon etc etc we and if I open the application you see I can actually type in there that's not what we want so if we click on our if we click on our text box we can somewhere in here there's a read only here so if it's read only it won't let us add stuff to it you see it will let me select it but it won't let me type anything in it now what happens if you don't want that cursor blinking so you can set it to read only but you can also change enabled to false. So now the jokes will still appear but you can't change anything in it. Another way you could do it, you don't actually have to use a text box, you can also use a label as well, that's an option. Um, and finally you could have it so that you have joke one and then the answer. So you could have two text boxes and have a box with a reveal, so let's do that now. So let's make this bigger and create a second text box and let's label this text box uh, answer we want a checkbox here let's just place it in the middle uh, and go checkbox answer So now if we run that, it won't do anything because we haven't put any code. So it still puts everything into there. So we can double click on our show answer and this is when it's changed. This is when it's changed. So what we can do is, so what we can do in here is if checkbox answer dot checked, if this is equal to true, then we want to go text box answer dot visible 
equals so if it's checked so if this is checked it will show the answer so we want it to be visible so it's true otherwise so else we want text box answer dot visible equals false then we need to separate out our things here so text box answer dot text equals our answer there a stick and then we can put our answer there where's my tractor inside of there so now that we've written that code you'll see if I put joke one you see it's enabled automatically so actually we should change that we should set the default visibility of this to wherever it is visible we should set the default bit visibility of that second one to false so now when we enable it you'll see it's not there plus joke one what's brand sticky I don't know a stick and you see when I change the answer it shows it or hides it so joke two what did the farmer say when he lost the tractor show answer where's my tractor and if it's enabled then there so that's how we can extend this application so you see in this we've created our simple joke machine with our joke and our punchline and we can hide the punchline as it goes so that's the first video in this long series you can see this is going to be a very long series but um, you can see that's an option you can see you can take these simple concepts so a joke machine that just shows you two jokes and you can make you can extend it really far you can add things like more jokes uh, hiding different options so you can hide the answer you could have a story for instance you could write you can make these multi-line so where's the option multi-line false you could turn it to true and you can make it really long like that yeah you know, there's a lot of options you can do but that's just for this first video that's what we're going to create so joke machine so like and subscribe all that youtube stuff and the next video is going to be coming soon